guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I'm just gonna say I feel so stupid about this. <laughs> so, my friend, um, she told me something, it's about makeup, of course, because this is a makeup tutorial. So, she, um, she started talking to me, and then she's like, did you know that when you're doing your makeup, you're supposed to start <laughs> with foundation and then your concealer? I didn't know that. So I feel so dumb that I've been doing my makeup wrong like for several years. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I can't believe I didn't know that. So blonde, blonde moment 101. So <laughs> from now on, I'm gonna start with my foundation and then my concealer and then my primer. <laughs> I feel so dumb and I also decided that I am never gonna be doing contouring ever I mean I I mean I will for my nose cuz it is crooked but I don't do it all the time mostly what I do is I take some highlighter and I just go down you know kind of a, not like directly with my nose it I just do it straight down and that makes it have an effect that my nose is straight so that's the only like contouring I'm ever gonna do so I'm gonna start with my concealer concealer mm, I'm not concealer foundation I'm so wrong with names I'm losing it I'm losing it dot, dot, dot. I like dots dots are fun that was totally out of line having fun with this this is so funny and I got my hair in there that's fabulous my parents are watching um yeah right Pirates of the Caribbean I love that movie I love Johnny Depp he's so cool he's an awesome actor I still can't believe he's never gotten an Oscar like seriously that is really dumb and really weird because he is such a great actor it's like and he's so loved by like everyone so why the heck does he not have an oscar i mean come on you've seen how awesome he is i mean i mean unless you've never heard of him i mean i've heard of him obviously <laughs> this is funny it's like so, I'm like another dot there, another dot there, and then smiley face. Okay, it's about that I'm having this much fun with cons not concealer foundation. Like, <laughs> I look so weird. I should not be having this much fun, like, at all. Dropping everything. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. I mean, oh look at, oh look at that coverage. <laughs> I'm, I've lost it. I have lost it. I have lost it. Mm -hmm. And then, um. I'm gonna take it again, obviously, and I'm gonna do it right here, because what um, foundation is supposed to do is, it's supposed to cover, you know, it's supposed to cover, like, blemishes and stuff, and whatever isn't covered completely by the foundation, that's where you take your concealer, and that's when you use it. You don't use foundation, you know, right away. You look and see if there's anything else that needs to be covered that the cons that the foundation didn't. And yeah. I just can't believe that in all my 
in all my time that I've spent watching makeup tutorials, I've never caught the fact that you're supposed to start with your foundation and then your concealer. I never noticed that, which I feel really dumb about. Like I've said a million times already, it makes me feel like... Ugh. Plus, um, it's also because your concealer is more liquidy than your foundation is. So if you were to do like them at the same time or your concealer first, it would totally mess up everything and it wouldn't apply evenly and it would just look very awkward which of course you don't want awkward when you're doing makeup I forgot a part because I got a nice little scratch right there and there that just helped a little and then I'm gonna go in with my powder foundation that is way lighter Wait, it's not way lighter, but it looks way lighter. It's ivory. Um, and it's by Clinique. When well, not Clinique, it's by CoverGirl. Oops. Oh, man. Anyway, so I do it right under my eye. Eyes. Because that way I can also brighten up under my eyes. And make it look like a doll. there it looks beautiful right and then you take your your main like powder foundation and stuff and take a beautiful brush and then you go mm -mm, beautiful this it looks gorgeous I love it I love it today because I actually I'm not hurting as bad today I mean yeah my right arm is going numb but whatever it happens Why did that okay, then. Wow. Nice going. okay why is that there? I mean come on man <laughs> dropping everything what are you doing Stop dropping everything come on Okay then, so colors, there are a lot of colors that go with like pink and stuff. I'm gonna go with, you know, pink and blue, cause no, I just might stick with blue, cause blue is fun with pink. I'm just gonna stick with blue shades. Plus, I wanna try out my new color palette that I bought. It was um, at Grocery Outlet, it was only two dollars it's like 250 something and you got some pretty colors and they're very pigmented and it's just gorgeous so that's what I'm gonna be using okay okay I just do not want to stay up apparently there we go so I'm gonna start with I'm not sure to start with. I'm gonna start with this color right here. It's a very pretty color. I'm try and knock everything down, which is not very good about it, like for anything really. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna do it right here. Yeah, just like that. Okay, next I'm gonna take this color right there. I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush. I don't have to touch it very much and it's very pigmented. So now I'm going to put it right here. Just like that. And I'm going to take this color and I'm going to put it right over the blue that I just put right here. Now I'm going to take 
this pink, you know, yeah, this pink right here, I'm gonna do my crease. Stay. Like, so I'm gonna do my crease right here, of course. You know where the crease is. Just so that I can have some pink in there and it'll turn into kind of purple, maybe. I mean, look, it looks flawless, and I'm gonna continue doing that. Now I'm gonna take this color right here. I'm gonna just add a light color to right here. And now I'm gonna take my beautiful color right here. And I've never used it before, so I'm really nervous. Okay, that I'll have to like kind of blend that in a little because I've never used this before, so I'm not very good at it, obviously. I'm gonna take this brush, I'll just kind of blend it in. Oh, that actually looks really good. I'm very happy. That looks really nice, so very happy about that. And now, for the finishing touch, I'm going to take this as an under eyeliner. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to smudge it out. And then I added mascara and some lip gloss, and there you go. So this is another colorful look that I have just created. So thank you guys for watching, and if you guys try this look, I hope it works out for you. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see, well you guys will see me in my next video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below.